How's everybody doing? Last with OBG Car Collectors here once again. On this video, I'm going to talk about what I have been working so hard on to show you guys in this video. I'm going to review the Top Loader Binder and the Beast Binder that I got for my new cards. I did not get to finish, but I will show you what I have done so far, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, here we have our top loader. So to begin with, I started with my Spurs, obviously, in David Robinson collection. So all these right here are David Robinson cards. Uh, in the back, I have some Sean Elliott um, from when he was with the Spurs and that one year he went with the Pistons. Uh, obviously, I'm going to keep my Spurs guys in the front. I have Avery Johnson here. Um, and any other players that I, you know, that I collect as well, like Charles Barkley, I'm gonna move towards the back. But I have a bunch of players, you know. I also have the Dreamer here, Akeem Olajuwon. Now this binder is just awesome for top loaders. Um, it does take a little bit of money, so if you have a little bit of time, money to spare. I highly recommend this top loader binder. Um, I take like three steps to protect my cards as you can see Dennis Rodman here as well so the original card I put it in a penny sleeve and then I put the card with the penny sleeve in the top loader and the top loader I put it inside another sleeve and that's how I protect my cards um, like I said it does take a little bit of money because if you do this like the way I'm doing it you will go through penny sleeves like like nothing you will with top loaders and the top loader sleeves as well now here's my Jordan collection. These cards are nostalgic, man. These cards are the ones that remind me of when I was younger, what I used to collect. Uh, these 90s eras cards just bring back so much memories. You know, so here you see more of my Michael Jordan collection. I don't have a real big Michael Jordan collection. Um, in some of these where you see like empty spaces, I'm leaving empty spaces to be able to collect more cards of that player. But even though as I, as I get more, I'm just gonna be moving them along and adding more cards and adding more cards but this binder is awesome man for if you want to protect certain cards more than others uh cards are going to be like in top orders like these like these patrick ewing's 89 nba all-star game um i highly recommend this binder uh i can't think of the name right off the top of my head but i will i'll put it in the link or in the description of the video uh the names of these binders and and where i bought them so you guys can know in case you want to go back and, and take a look for yourselves, um, I really love these binders. As uh, This top loader one is awesome because, like I said, I think it holds about 100 or 200 something cards. Um, but, like for me specifically, I'm putting the top tier players as far as like who I want to collect personally in here. So, you know, uh, Miguel Valdez did come in on one of my videos, you know, uh, which are the best cards to collect. And I responded, you know, it's, it's basically, you know, a personal, personal uh, choice. It's up to you as far as what you want to collect. For me personally, obviously, you know, I, I love my Spurs, so I collect sp classic Spurs cards. I do collect some of the newer cards as well, like Wemby, obviously. But for me, it's all about Tim Duncan, you know, David Robinson, Sean Elliott, those classic Spurs. Um, I am Wemby hunting still, obviously, so I'm going to try to get as many Wemby cars as I can. And if you watch my other videos, you, you'll, you'll know that Wemby's the one that kind of got me back into the hobby as far as collecting cards. So, but, you know, anything that, that's, that's close to your heart, man, anything that you like, uh, you can collect just about anything. So if, if you're talking about like personal wise, but if you're talking about value wise, like if you want cars that are going to be worth something later, you know, not just to you, but to anybody out there that collects, you can go with, with auto cards, cards that are autographed. You could go with patch cards, you know, that, are, that have patch or that have patch and autos and that are numbered or just numbered cards. You know, those are the cards that are going to hold the value more and slabs, which means that cards that have been to PSA, you know, BGS, stuff like that or whatever, that great cards you can buy or you can send in your cards yourself to get graded. Now, me personally, I'm not a fan of sending my cards in to get graded, just because it does cost a little bit of money. I, as you see, Chris Mullen, and I even have Muggsy Bulls here uh, to get your cards graded. And I, I just think, you know, 
for me personally, I don't I don't want to pay money just to have somebody else grade my card and tell me how good they think my cards are. So, you know, I have a rookie Nick Van Exel here and a Big Shot Bob, Robert Ori as well, the first round draft pick who will later go on, come and win two rings at the Spurs, I think it is. So, but it's up to you guys, whatever y'all like to collect. Uh, like I said, this is my personal collection. This is my preference as far as who I have. I have James Worthy here. I have Lottie Divas. And then, like I said, this binder is awesome. I like the quality of it. You know, it's pretty sturdy. Um, it can be a little hard to get the top loaders out once they're loaded from the front and the back of, of the sheet. But, I mean, once they're in there, I mean, there should really be no reason for you to want to remove them. You know, just to have them in there to show off and to collect and on occasion, I guess, pull them out and stuff. But, you know, I have another Kobe Bryant right here. Um, and I still have a lot more room. I have Tim Hardaway in the back. He's the last player I have right now so far. But I do have other, you know, uh, more sheets available, more players to add on. So there is there is a lot of room here in this binder, as you can see. You know, I still have a few sheets left. So I will be adding some more players on here. But I highly recommend this binder, guys. Like I said, I'll leave the name of it in the description. And uh, on to the Beast binder. Now this binder, I absolutely love. It's huge. Uh, they don't call it the Beast binder for nothing. Um, I love the way it's made. I like the design. Uh, and I'm here I'm going to show you the size comparison so you know the top loader binder itself is pretty big but the beast binder as you can see is way bigger than it I don't have the exact measurements and inches on it but take my word for it guys it's pretty big each sheet where you can load cards I think it takes like 40 cards per sheet front and back 20 in the front and 20 in the back and here we go it has a pretty nice red lining in it it's pretty smooth it kind of it feels kind of like silk but you know it's not a top tier lining but it looks pretty nice so here we have the admiral starting off in the of course obviously with my spurs uh, starting out with the collection here now these are not top loader this is just cards and penny sleeves into the into the binder sean alia vinnie del negro willie anderson terry cummings you know classic spurs guys that i grew up watching even dennis Rodman's in here um i love 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 this binder guys this one i highly recommend as well um this one is pretty expensive so be prepared if, if you're interested in checking one of these out for yourself i highly recommend it but be prepared to spend you know somewhere around 65 bucks uh, the big dog antoine car i don't know who remembers the big dog antoine car but i have him in here as well paul presley jr reed sydney green um a bunch of you know, Skybox cars, man, those Skybox cars bring back a lot of memories. Dell Ellis. And so I also went to the flea market a few weeks ago and I saw this sheet here of the, 20, of the 2007 NBA champion Spurs. It was a sheet of cards from Upper Deck. And I can remember if, if uh, the Express News came out with this or who came out with it, but I saw it. Some of them were a little damaged, but that's just fine with me, man. Like, I had to pick it up for five bucks. So I just took them apart and I put them in here. And now they're all part of my collection. You know, Matt Bonner has a championship trophy. Uh, Bruce Bowen, Michael Finley, Tony Parker, and even Pop was there in the bottom. And so the way I did it is I put the classic Spurs cards first, and then I put the newer Spurs towards the back. Like I have Malachi, DeMar DeRozan here, some of the rooks, you know, some of the first year, second year, third year players, uh, Blake Wesley, I have Jeremy Sohan, I have uh, Kelden Johnson, I have Devin Vassell, I have Trey Jones, even Patty Mills is in here. Uh, Joe Weisenkamp when he was with the Spurs but yeah guys so I chose to put the 90s era or the older cards first and then the newer cards in the back and I did this binder I did it by team so obviously I have my Spurs first and it's huge man as you can see it holds 20 cards in one phase of the, of the sheet of the, of, the, of the binder that holds the cards so here I decided to just go with the Phoenix Suns and I'm not going in any particular order uh, this is just how it happened how it popped up so I have the Phoenix Suns, you have Dan Marley, Charles Barkley as you saw, uh, Danny Ainge I believe is in here as well, uh, a bunch of the old, you know, Suns players, I'm not too familiar with every single person here, but you know, those are the classics, and then we go on into the, today's players, you know, Devin Booker, uh, Kevin Durant, you know, Chris Paul, and so on and so on, and then I went with the Houston Rockets. 
So there's Avery Johnson, there's Big Shalva, there's uh, Keddy the Jet Smith, Akeem the Dream, uh, Vernon Maxwell, who the Spurs actually drafted, but he wasn't happy here in San Antonio and wanted to go to Houston. So that's his loss on some rings. But yeah, guys, so I highly recommend this this binder, and here are the newer Houston Rockets. And then I believe I go to uh, the Dallas Mavericks after that. Um, this binder is beautiful. This one has a lot of room. As you can see, it's Jamal's Mashburn, Jamal Mashburn there and from the old Dallas Mavericks. But this binder has a lot of room. Uh, you can add, I think it holds up to over a thousand cards. So in the beginning of the videos, you saw all those binders that I had, the red, white, and blue binders. Those binders, uh, if you watched my previous video as well, you know, you'll know that my wife blessed me with those binders. She was able to find me all these 90s era cars at the flea market. So I'm ready selling them because her sister had passed. We used to collect cars and, and she did a beautiful job as far as taking care of these cars. Man, these cards are in pristine condition. There, a lot of these cars we get not eight, nines, and tens. If I were to send them up to PSA, um, a lot of them have centering up uh you know centering issues and stuff like that but as far as the card themselves man they're in they're in awesome awesome condition so i have yet to finish you know i still have a lot more cars to go but i just couldn't wait man i, I wanted to share these video with you guys as far as what i have been doing now it does take a lot of time especially if you have a lot of cards it will take a lot of time to separate each card from each player and put them in penny sleeves and, and then put them into the binder you know this binder is separated by team but i also have each player you know each player's cards one right after the other and i try to put the order cards first too so everything is kind of in order as far as by player and by year and here you have the, the trailblazers um you have the rookie card of uh cliff robinson clifford robinson um, you have some Terry Porters and stuff in here, so But yeah, this this binder is beautiful man um, And the way I came across this binder is I came across a review of it as well on, on YouTube and as soon as I saw that The size of it and what it holds and what I can do with it and I picked it up right away And like I said, it is kind of pricey, but if you want to Really take care of your cards in a way where you could display so many of them and for them to be protected and the binder is built awesomely i highly recommend this binder uh, the beast binder you can find here on amazon as well as the other one but the other one i can't remember the name of it but like i said i'll leave it in the, i'll leave the name in the description but uh the warriors here chris weber rookie card i have tim hardaway's uh, chris mullen but but yeah guys these these binders are awesome if you have a lot of cards and you want to do away with those old three ring binders and with those old plastic sleeve sheets uh i recommend this one because if you can tell also you know this has a black background so where you put your card in the background is black so it's kind of like a silky tube which is an extra protection for the card and so that just makes it look that much nicer too and so the lakers was the last team that i had that I was able to do that i got to um but i still have so much space uh, you can see all these empty slots uh for the team that i'm gonna do next and the team that i'm gonna do next is the seattle supersonics who obviously came on to, to went on to become the okc thunder so i have all these super, seattle supersonics cards here um that i will be doing next and there's still plenty of room to put these cards i just i just need to continue doing it i'll probably do a video again of once it's complete and, and just give you a final overview of, of what I was able to do but love these binders you know love taking the time to do it you know this this hobby is a passion man so you know it takes time it takes a little bit of money but uh, if it's something that you're really passionate about I recommend these binders man these binders are awesome um, they are heavy so they are pretty heavy to be carrying around <laughs> But here are some more of my 90s era cars, and these red, white, and blue binders are the ones that have the 90s cars. These red ones are the 90s. These blue and white are actually my, my newer cards. But here are some more of the 90s cars uh, that I was able to get out of the binder. But uh, I was also able to buy some more cars for my, for my PC that go into the magnetic cases. 
Now my magnetic case cars, those are the most valuable cars to me. So here we have a Patty Mills Panini Contender season ticket, uh, cracked ice. It is 21, uh, 25 uh, Patty Mills. This is a beautiful card, man. Um, I'm trying to get all the Spurs players that have come and won championships with the Spurs. Obviously, Patty Mills is one of them. So as soon as I saw that card, I had to pick it up. This is the Hall of Fame Tim Duncan. This is this was a card that was given away in the giveaway. Uh, so those names that you saw. Four of them got the Tim Duncans and Metal Remedy got the Blaster Box, but those were a part of the giveaway. And I got the Steven Jackson Impressionist Inc. Uh, not a big fan of Steven Jackson because he does talk a lot of crap with his first now that he's not with them. It's uh, out of 149, but nonetheless, you know, he is a NBA champion with the Spurs. Antonio Daniels as well. This is a beautiful card, man, from Spectra Icons. Uh, I saw this one as well, and it's 21 out of 75. Uh, I saw it and I had to pick it up and it was part of my collection as well. And that's gonna, I need to get a magnetic case for that one. But And of course, here we have Michael Finley out of $29.99. Um, this guy is not with the Dallas Mavericks, but his ring has a spur on it. So in order for him to win a championship, he had to come with a spur. So I'm a big fan of Michael Finley as well. And that was going to my magnetic. And last but not least, man, I got this awesome hit of Victor Wembanyama Magicians in the Donruss Blaster Box. Beautiful, beautiful card, man. I got so lucky the chance that I got to pull this card. So, oh, and one more. I have uh, this Kobe Bryant. I saw this Kobe Bryant when I bought the Spurs sheet. His rookie card. This is a Kobe Bryant rookie card. I got it for five bucks. You know, I'm a big fan of Kobe. Uh, had to get it, man. As soon as I got it, as soon as I saw it. So that's another addition to my PC. But uh, yeah, here's my review, guys. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. God bless.